Yaki Delgado Wants to Kick Your Ass, the infamously named um, book. Yaki Delgado Wants to Kick Your Ass came about um, in two ways, of course. I had been invited to submit to an anthology of Latina fiction. Um, the person who invited me was the late Marisa Montes, who um, won the Pura Bel Pre with uh, Yuji Morales for um, Los Gatos Black on Halloween. So what an honor, right, to be invited to write a story. And it was supposed to be a story about a Latina, a young Latina at a turning point. So I said what I always say, oh, of course, I'd love to be involved, what an honor. And I hung up the phone, I said, now what? I don't know what to write. So I started to ask myself, as I usually do, and mine in my personal life, what were the turning points for me as a young person? And then I remembered a really terrible turning point. Um, when I went to junior high school, I was in the schoolyard one day, and someone came up to me and said, Jackie Delgado's going to kick your ass. And I said, who's Jackie Delgado? I had no idea. So what ended up happening is I found out who Jackie was. She was a really fierce bully, and um, she frightened me. She threatened me all the time. Not just me, but I was certainly one of them. And it changed everything. I often wonder if she really knew the impact that she would have with those words. But that experience got me hating school. I stopped going. I started cutting. I didn't give any importance to grades anymore. And I really just changed dramatically for the worse. And it took years to feel better to be honest with you. So I sat down and I just started to write that story, changing it, of course, the way I always do. I give all kinds of people in my real life all kinds of changes. I change their age, their sex, their, you know, what their jobs were. But I was pulling the people from my childhood that I remember, and then I invented the ones I wish had been there. And I cooked up a cast. Lila, the best friend neighbor upstairs, and Ma, who's grumpy, doing, you know, delivering flat screen TVs where she works. You know, the dean, the, the clueless teachers, the bully, the boyfriend. I just cooked them all up into a tale that really is about what it feels like to be in the crosshairs of a bully. And it's horrible. It robs you of your sense of self. And I was raising teenagers at the time, and so I got to see what it looks like now with cell phones and YouTube and um, Facebook accounts and all of that. It just makes it 24 hours a day inescapable. So I added that in, and I wrote, and I wrote every day, and I wrote with a horrible pain in my stomach and just terrible memories because I didn't want to think about myself back then. It was a really sad time. But I wrote it and what I found is this, that when you write something really honestly, it connects because the human experience is the human experience. What happened is that Yaki Delgado, the story, got orphaned, the whole anthology got orphaned because the editor who had acquired it moved on to another house. And when that happens, we call it orphan because what happens is that the person who loved the project is no longer there and nobody loves your project anymore. And so it was in limbo. And Kate, my editor, came to my rescue. She said, um, send it to me. I want to hear um, what you sound like in a contemporary voice. And that was wonderful because I was really sad about not being in this anthology. Um, but as it turns out, you know, sad things, you never know what's coming around the corner. Um, she acquired it as a novel.